This tutorial is going to show you how to make an animated dictionary. So you're going to need multiple things. First, you're going to need to use Google Presentation. So in Drive, I'm going to go to Google Slides. And when it comes up, I think it's always best actually to change the page setup to be a different, smaller uh, size. So I'm going to go to File, scroll down to Page Setup. And instead of widescreen, I'm going to do standard and hit apply. So I'm changing it from being wider to being at almost a square. I'm going to exit out of here and take this out. So now that I have my Google Slides presentation ready, I need to actually make my GIF. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to YouTube. And for this case, I'm going to search Volcano. I'm going to find a video that works for me. So I can highlight over here to kind of see what it is. Oh, that one looks pretty good. I can watch it to see uh, if, in fact, it is something that I want to use. Now, with a GIF, you're only using a small portion, usually 10 seconds or less. So this one looks nice. So I'm going to come up here to the URL. I'm going to copy the URL, and then I'm going to go to a website called YouTube to GIF. So it's gifrun.com. So G-I-F-R-U-N.com. And when you get to this website, you paste your video link. So you're going to paste it, and then you'll see the buttons working, and it's going to start to get the video. It's going to play the video here for you to be able to see. Um, you can see the start time starting. So I'm going to pause here because I actually want to use this to back up the video. And I want to start it at about the seven uh, second mark, right before the volcano erupts. Then above here, this is where it is the duration, how many seconds you want it to be. So I'm going to take this and make this to be, I'll uh, say about seven seconds. And I'm going to do create a uh, GIF. While it's creating, in a minute, it's going to pop up onto the side right here, and it's going to show me exactly uh, what the GIF is, so how it run. If you want to alter uh, it, you can start all over again by adjusting the start time and the duration. So you can see right over here, this is uh, the GIF that it's going to make for me. I like that. So I'm going to download. So I'm going to download right here. My volcano erupting one, and hit save. Then I'm going to come back to my presentation. So on my presentation, I need to add my GIF onto my uh, slide. So it's this one right here. You can see that I was testing it out before. So here's the one. I'm going to slide it onto my uh, presentation. Now I want to adjust it. I want to make it to, to be the size of, of the canvas. So I'm going to hold down the shift key and then with my mouse hover over. When I hold down the shift key, it's keeping it um, into its proportional size. So it's not going to alternate it. I'm sorry, alter it for me. I'm going to center this a little bit. So now that I have my GIF going, I want to put what word goes with this, because the whole point of the animated dictionary is for the students to see the word in action. So to do this, I'm going to go to Insert, and I'm going to go down to Word, word Art. I'm going to put the caps lock on, and I'm going to type in Volcano. After I type in the word that I want it to be, I'm going to hit Enter. You can see here is my word. And with word art, the nice thing about it is you're not adjusting font size. You're actually adjusting it by dragging and dropping it. If you want to change it to be, a, say, a different font, a heavier font, you can come up to the fonts. If you have one that you like already, you can choose that, or you can go to more fonts and choose one. So if I use this Alpha Slab 1, I can see I'm going to resize it again. So right now, the word overpowers the GIF. So you can't actually really see what's going on in the background. So I need to change this. It's bold, 
but I want to make so the inside is taken out. So I'm going to make it transparent. So I'm going to come up here to the fill and I'm going to do transparent. So now you can just see the, the outline of the word there. So now I'm going to adjust the border color. I'm going to make this one do white. So now you can actually kind of see the word, but I want to make it stand out a little bit more. So now that I have the fill color is transparent and the border color is white, I'm going to do the border weight and change this. And I'm going to try four first. Well, that looks good. But maybe eight pixels would be better. Yep, that works better for me. So now I have the word that's standing out and then the GIF in the background that is animating what that word means. So you can have students quickly go in and create animated dictionaries uh, with vocabulary words.